I'm not, I'm not there right now. Okay, so uh, I got the top off and we're gonna put the J-Tops um, sunshade on. I've used the spider web shade before in the past. Um, I opted this time to go with the with the J-Tops is because as they like to tell you, they don't use the little spider balls that they have, the little plastic ball things. Um, I did have those um, kind of get weak after a while in the sun, after about a year. I did have to did it fade a little bit more. Um, and everything in my garage is falling down because the wind is atrocious. Um, and this one covers a little bit better than, than the sun, than the uh, spider web shade. Both are made in America, so if you are going to buy one, these are the two probably to buy if you do care about that, which I do care about that. But I tried, decided to try something different. They are a little bit more expensive than the spider web shade, but it's not that bad. So first thing, we're going to roll this thing out, and I believe this is the back. I'm going to put this on top. They say you can use this with the hard top still installed, and we're going to find out. It does not come with directions. It does have direction, directions online, a video, but it does not have the gladiator online. So apparently I'm the first person to do this. I don't know. Put it on top. And then up in here, there is a. Let me see if I got this right. I do not know if I have it right. We are trying to determine that. Um, There are some magnets up in here, and they say to put it inside this track. So you fold this thing like a U, and we're gonna stick it inside this track. Take the clips off. Nope, that is not working. Let's try this again. Okay, pause it for a second. I'm not pausing it. Huh? Okay, she's not pausing it. She's gonna watch me struggle. So maybe I do have it on backwards. What's the best way? See so, somebody else, Phil? I literally don't know. We were trying this out for the first time. This doesn't seem to make any sense to me. That, that's not right. That's pretty cool. Let me see the phone real quick. I just realized that it says Jeep. Sorry, it says Jeep right there. I didn't know it. That's pretty neat. Um, hand this back to the camera girl. So, this is a bit of a pain in the ass because there's really no way to know. There's some magnets up in here. idea how this works. Okay, so now I figured it out. <laughs> so, if you look here, this this little belt, uh, plastic whatever deal there, and then you got little magnets, a couple magnets, four magnets or something throughout this. So, we're going to put this, we're going to tuck this in here, like that. Tuck it in. Push it in far, all right, and push it all the way in, as far as it'll go. And then we're gonna take these. There is a cross, there is a header right there, which is interesting, because um, so there's a support bar that, that lays on top of there. So I'm gonna take, it does tell you ahead of time to take these little hook, hook and loop fastener things and loosen them up, which I didn't do, because I'm, that's how I roll. I'm gonna loosen all these up, it has a little latch Pull the latch up, and you can pull this thing. You can loosen it up. Loosen it way up. We're gonna roll it around. It has a little piece of um, little piece of soft stuff, so you don't scratch your paint, which is pretty cool. They're looking out for us. Wow. 
watch it. Same thing over here. Watch it. When you get it together, kind of loose, kind of loose to start with. All right. Do the same thing in the back. Obviously, both sides are going to have to have that done. So, loosen these up. The buckle, uh, undo the buckle, and it's got a little, this little thing. Zip that up, and then you can kind of feed in the strap, loosen it up. Same thing here, you get them all done. Feed in the strap, things determined to fight me every step of the way. Just sort of quickly throw these on here and then we're going to have to readjust it once we figure out exactly what it is we're doing. It seems to be pretty well made. It, it would have been even better made if they would have gave you some instructions. Um, so this one's a little confusing right here. Right, this one's a little confusing because I've got something to weigh. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to... Where the hell does that go? Huh. Doesn't seem like it's uh, in the right spot, to be honest. Exactly know why yet. I'm come around to the side. My wife's been trying to help me, but it's pretty difficult with a phone in your hand. Uh, same thing, we're going to loosen these up. Throw the buckle on there. And again, we're going to wait to tighten it up until we're done. one I'm not too sure about is that middle one. It's sort of in the middle of the sound bar cross brace. I guess it's just meant to go on crooked. That's it's a lot longer. Huh? Yeah, it does look like it is a little longer, so I guess, I guess they intend for you to sort of do it at an angle. I think I went. For those of you old school guys that have been around for a while with Jeeps, if you remember before there were Quadratech and Amazon and all the other stuff we have, we had we had JC Whitney, um, and I think there used to be something else, four wheel drive parts or something. And it, the stuff that you got was very very rudimentary. Uh, oftentimes didn't fit. I ordered a back seat for a CJ5 one time. They didn't come with sit. They didn't come with seats, right? So I ordered the seat was supposed to work. It was ridiculous. So I sent it back. It did not even remo remotely want to work. So yeah. So the cross beam looks like they got a nice little spot. So it does it does line up. All right. Looks so. like you could probably take it back here too if you want to bring the beam back. beam these little insets they have right there because it seems to make sense so I'm gonna pull that joker tight and undo it again put this little mm -hmm. soft piece in there pull tight pull this back 
I've where's already had. Where's your soft piece on that? Yep, not there. So here's my soft piece. I plan on leaving this on all the time. So I'm trying to get it right. She's trying to help me. <laughs> so. She don't want to hear you crying when it scratches. Yeah. So same thing over here. Pull this back. Gonna, gonna undo this real quick. Make sure. I'm gonna look in there. Set it down inside so it's inside the little inset. It's the part that keeps the plastic screwed into the roll bar. So it seemed like a good place for that to sit. Uh, it doesn't line up perfectly, but again, the top is brand new and it has not loosened up yet. And all right, so I gotta take a breath. And not breathe. Practicing for when I'm underwater, I guess. So same thing over here. I'm going to pull this tight. Pull that tight. Is it in the I don't like it's in the thing. Oh. You're correct, man. <clears throat> pull that tight. Stick this in. It's got these things up here, which for the friggin' life of me. Maybe you put that through there so if it flies up, it doesn't fly off. Yeah, pretty sure. Oh, that's there so you can latch your top back on. Mm. So when you put the top back on, babe, if you come out here, the outside. <laughs> okay. So, figure some stuff out. So it says you can run this with the, with the top back on. So when you do put the top on, it's gonna obviously go over top of there, but you gotta get the freedom panels on. So then what you would do is you would pull this out, lay it back, put your freedom panels on. You can hook your stuff in here. This will just stay up there. It's gonna stay up there. It's not gonna matter because your freedom panels are on. Then you're gonna have to reach up in between, lock your, lock your freedom panels right there, and away you go. But I guess I'm gonna run for a day with the with the freedom panels off just to get the use of it. Pay good money for this thing, so might as well check her out. And I originally thought you had to take the uh, windshield down. And I was looking at the JL version. I swear it says you put the um, you put something in here, but it's confusing. The guy. The guy on their site didn't really do a good job of making me understand. Anyway, I'm gonna pull these down tight. I'm gonna come over there and do it in front of the camera. So, I'm gonna pull these down, get them where we wanna get them. Inside the, the header beam is inside that little nook. And I got this, I got the little cushion there, right? I'm gonna pull this down nice and tight. Pull down nice and tight, and I'm gonna lock her down. It grabs hold. Open that up. Pull down nice and tight. Lock her down. Same thing here. Pull this down. Lock it down. Lock it down. Lock it down. Lock it down. So. Cushion. Huh? Cushion's coming out of that because I got it on such a steep angle. I don't really, really weird. This is the one that really confuses me a lot. I don't, not, not a big fan of this right here. Let me see if I can. I'm trying to make some sense out of it. As I tighten it up, it's wanting to kind of shove in here, but it's not taking the cushion with it because the cushion's got some grip on it, so it stays put. Now I'd say the only downside of this thing is I've got some of this little tail. And if you're like me, that's gonna bug the hell out of me. I'll find something to do there. I don't know what. So it looks like. Oh, okay. So it looks like I can I can take the tail and tuck the tail. And again, this is something you're gonna leave on, right? So it's a big pain in the butt the first time. But after that, you're good to go. So I'm taking, I'm gonna take this piece, I'm gonna 
try to shove the tail in there and it is not going to work. <laughs> Yeah, it's just gonna take a lot of, a lot of bitching and moaning on my part, I guess. Get it in there first, and then pluck it. Stick in that. But, all right, so I kind of got it. So I'm gonna slide this back around. There you go. So there you go. Do that with each one of them, and we're good to go. It looks nice and clean. So I'm gonna go around and do it. Um, I'm gonna save you the the bitching and moaning. But I think it's a pretty good top. I chose this one over the over the spider web shade again because it does the spider web shade comes in. You lose about two inches in here because the, the they call them spider balls. They're they're these are actually these are actually the ones I had on my JK. These are what this, their spider balls are. So their spider balls would come in here. You put it through a loop in the in the shade, right? You loop it through the shade, and then you'd come around here and you tighten it in. But what you there's different size ones for different places and what you get is as these loosen up they pull like that so along the edges you have about an inch and a half to two inches sometimes where sun gets in where this one sun covers the whole top of you um if you have the doors off i guess it really doesn't matter because you're going to get you but if your doors are up and you're running it does give you more coverage also these don't get as loose and they don't if you ever been hit with one of these things they make you almost want to cry uh, they do hurt but also, this little piece kind of comes down along the back, and if you're sitting back here, it's gonna it's gonna save the top of your head a little bit. Uh, again, if we wanted to have complete coverage, we would leave the top on, right? That's not what we're going for. We're just going for a little bit of shade. I opted for the black because it's easier to see through black than it is colors. Um, and again, I am trying to get the feel for the outdoors. So anyway, I hope you like this. Um, please check out my other videos. Uh, there's not a lot of videos on gladiators. That's why I'm trying to do these things to inform people. So if you're on the fence about getting one or you just don't know how to do it, uh, watch my video. I hope, hope it's helping. And uh, please hit like, hit subscribe, share with your friends. And thanks again for coming by. As always, Bobby Mail out.